much of Trump's 2020 budget proposal has made the news, including headlines related to his requests for defense spending and other issues such as cutting Medicare and Medicaid. Prior to the budget report's release, his administration also presented sweeping legislature that would make it next to impossible for women to receive information regarding family planning, including harsh policy against Planned Parenthood and for those who take part in the Title X program. Easily missed were all of the requested slashes that would be made to funding the arts. In the past, Trump attempted to eliminate arts programs which were ignored by Congress. Two groups that will be hit the hardest in blows they may never recover from are the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and the National Endowment for the Arts. The requested cuts for funding, $435 billion, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting include PBS and NPR. The National Endowment for the Arts is looking at potentially losing $126 billion in funding. The cuts would only allow a few million dollars to manage an orderly shutdown. All together, the new budget would spend $4.7 trillion on discretionary and mandatory programs. The administration, of course, deflects from the truth of the matter. Republicans notoriously dislike art and information and has argued that this news is a no biggie because it only provides a fraction of the funds for popular stations like PBS and NPR. And hey, why spend money on TV when you can spend that money on war? Despite Trump's lies, he and his administration love war and conflict. The Brookings Institute had this to say regarding defense spending. After initially announcing plans for continued growth from $716 billion in fiscal year 2019 to $733 billion in 2020, President Trump directed the Department of Defense. To plan instead for reductions to a $700 billion budget. In early December 2018, Trump went as far as to call current levels of U.S. defense spending crazy, only to announce plans for a $750 billion defense budget just a week later. These figures include war expenses and nuclear weapons activities in the Department of Energy, 